brought up with Shane Ross, Minister for Transport, in the Dáil, asking could he renew the laws, could he renew the, the up-to-date version, could he do anything at all about the situation we are facing, and it's still left in limbo. So the lads' licences are actually running out of time now, and once they go out of date, we're looking at the worst case scenario that they never get issued another licence again in Dublin City, which they've held for literally all of their life. Um, and that most of the lads here, well all of the lads here today, this is their livelihood. Dublin City Council are saying it's a police matter, that the police must look after it. Um, Dublin City Council have took our money for literally the last 15 years for insurances, demanding tax clearance forms, uh, certs, doing previous background checks, everything. They, we've paid them licence fees for so long. What's going to happen is you're going to have so many rogue drivers travelling around and anybody thinking they can literally get a horse and carriage here in Dublin City centre and take these tourists around, which is a terrible situation to be left in. The 16 people that we do know is working in our streets, we know who they are, we know the horses are in good condition and we know the carriages are up to date because they get tested every year where if this law and they wash the hands of us, we don't know who's going to be out there working in Dublin city centre, you know? I hope Minister Ross can update the laws, can put a, a health and safety plan into, into measure for the horses and the carriages, and at least someone can take us over.